So let's start out why you get your plane in for an annual inspection. Number one, you have to inspect the airplane because it's a legal requirement from the FAA. Every year you have to do an annual inspection. And why do they make you do that? Let's just look at the big picture. It's for safety. You have to take apart the plane basically and inspect every single component to make sure it's safe it's all in good working order and it's going to be safe for you and your passengers for the next year while you go flying and that is something that you want to do yes it can be very costly and yes you can find problems but don't you want to find problems when you're here on the ground rather than up in the air so the seats come out and the carpeting comes out and then you are left with the floor and all the inspection plates the interior of my plane is old and it is just it is just kind of debris and residue ridden so as the carpet has been in there since the beetles were a band it's rolled up and there's just a ton of residue and debris and all that needs to be shot back and cleaned out and once you get the interior all cleaned up then you can start removing the ins inspection plates. So my mechanic was really watching over me and coming out every few minutes to kind of coach me along and making sure I was doing everything right. And then I just removed all the internal inspection plates and got it ready for him to come in and do what he needs to do with all the lubrication and all the lubrication points that you need to do during an annual. So now the interior is ready to be inspected. The next piece, I removed all the inspection plates from the wing and this took a little bit longer than I had anticipated because I didn't really realize how many inspection plates there are in the wing but inside all these are points that need to be lubricated are points that need to be inspected and this is where you can get a good look of what's going on inside the wings all the cables all the pulleys everything that really needs to be inspected now can be this is also a good time to inspect any wiring and to inspect possible corrosion. And that's a big deal because you don't want to have that run away on you. Then I started moving along the side of the plane and removing those side panels as well as the tail cone. The tail cone needed to be removed so we can actually look inside there and make sure that all the cables and all the pulleys with the elevator and the rudder are working properly. And it really gives you a good chance to see what's going on inside there. And now the big thing, the cowling needs to be removed. And that's not the big deal. It's what's underneath it is the engine. And I was expecting some issues there. I had a small sneaking suspicion of a very small exhaust leak in my engine because the sound actually over the last month had changed from this nice purring sound that it used to make to this little pop 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 pop, pop would, would come out. And I was like, eh, that sounds like an exhaust issue. And sure enough, we got in there, we looked inside the exhaust, and yes, we did find a small leak. So the entire exhaust stack had to come out. So obviously the muffler has to come out. And I was reading up on power flow and the maintenance of power flow exhaust, and I discovered that the internal core of the power flow really is only good for about three to 400 hours. And I've put more than that on my airplane since I've had it. And I don't think it's ever been replaced as I was looking through the log books. So we pulled the power flow off and sure enough, we took a look inside that power flow and this is what we found. The good news is that a new core was only $260 to replace. I ordered a new core and that just unscrews and gets slipped right in and assembled right back into the power flow. So it's really not a tremendous deal. I couldn't put a new interior in it right now because it just exceeded the budget I had for this annual. However, I can do little things like the door seals. The door seals in this airplane were really bad. So I went to Aircraft Spruce, I found the door seal kit, and I ordered it. It really wasn't that expensive, and now is a perfect time to install new door seals on this airplane. During the annual, they changed the oil, and now's a good time to get that engine oil analysis done. In fact, every time you change your oil, you should have that done just to keep track of how your engine is doing. 
So let's talk about budgeting for an annual. Last year's annual cost me $3,350, which was a little bit steep, but I did have some major repairs done. We did find last year that oil was leaking out of one of the cylinders. I had to pull one of the cylinders and put a new gasket in there, and that ended up being a little bit more expensive than I had planned. So this year, I do have a mental budget of what this annual is gonna cost. Also, I included in that the upgrades I wanted to make. I put an LED beacon light, a brand new one on there. I bought a clock, a chronometer for the airplane. Also, I bought door seals for the airplane. And then I knew that the power flow core needed to replace. So all that aside, it's kind of put into my mental budget. And also just for my mental peace of mind, I have an amount that I'm expecting to go over. Now, I have that whole big picture in my head for what this annual is gonna cost, but I'm not gonna share it with you yet. I'll share it with you after the program and maybe in volume two. But you have to go into an annual with the attitude of not how much is this gonna cost me, but it may be expensive. However, these things need to get done because it's all about safety. And at the end of the day, you need this airplane and any other airplane in top working condition so that it will be safe for you and your passengers. And that's what you need most.